Hey everyone, how's it going today? I'm going to try to create a drowned farm and trident farm in Minecraft version 1.13. So I just want to mention that I am on snapshot 18w11a and I want to mention that just in case they change the way you get tridents, it should stay the same, but I want to mention that just in case they do change it. So this is how this works. Zombies will spawn and fall into the water and the new water physics will cause a zombie to drown. And when it drowns, it will become a drowned mob. And not always, but sometimes a drowned mob will spawn with the trident. So what happens is they fall down here you will open these trap doors, you'll kill them, you'll fall into the hoppers, and you have a chance to find rotten flesh, normally, how you usually do with uh, zombies, but you can find a trident, so it could be damaged, or there actually is a chance of it being fully repaired. So yeah, they drop tridents, and this is how this trident farm works. So for this farm, you will need two water buckets, two chests, nine slabs, nine pieces of glass, nine hoppers, and nine trap doors. Some of these are optional, so obviously just watching the video and seeing how it's done before you do it yourself. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is have a 9x9 room. So 1, 2, 3, 4 blocks away from the spawner on each side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then dig out those walls as well. So if there's a wall like this, and it's 3 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, and it looks like this, you want to break this wall. So every part around the spawner is 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's 9x9, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just like that, and then you are good. So once you have a 9 by 9 room, you want to find where your house is. So if your house is this way, if I live this way and my house is that way, I want to break these blocks, so 1, 2, and then break the wall along with it. Just like this. Okay, so now the room will be 11 by 9. So 9 on this side, and then 11 blocks on this side. And you also want the roof, the height of it, to be 1, two three blocks so one two three just like that so when you jump you hit your head so one two three blocks high and now what you want to do is dig two blocks deep so everywhere on the floor two blocks even under the spawner so one two so when you jump you'll hit your head on the spawner so just like this down by two everywhere in this room so everywhere you want to dig down two blocks And now you want to create an infinite water source. So it doesn't matter where. I'm just going to do over here. Just break these blocks. Just don't do it like in this area if you're going to do it on this side. So I'm doing it on this longer side, the 11 block side. But I'm doing it just right here. I'm going to create a 4 by a 2 by 2 thing. So 4 blocks. And then that will be an infinite water source. You'll need this in the future. Not right now, but you'll need this in a bit. So now on the longer side that you dug, so 11 blocks, you want to go to the very end. Dig 1, 2, 3. And also dig out this part until you reach the end here, so you can just actually go like this, one, two, three, and then dig all the way here so it'll all be clear. And now you want to break all the blocks along here, so just break this one, break all of them like this, now you're going to place trapdoors. And you don't need trapdoors, but trapdoors are useful for baby zombies, because I think, I'm not too sure, but they do spawn with tridents, I don't know if they can throw them, they probably can, or if they can hit you, but the reason you put these down, so when you lift this up, they won't, they won't be able to see you or hit you, so put them down there like this for now. But yeah, you want to place trap doors, and then right here you want to place a chest, just like this. And you can take these blocks out as well, you, it doesn't matter, you can have them there, but I'm going to take them out. And, oh, there's diamonds. Okay, so there you go. Trap doors and a chest, and you are good. And now this is where the water will come in handy, so you want to grab your water, and place on every other block, or every block, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to place on every block, but you can do uh, every other block if you want. And that will run, and if you do it correctly, it will run right here. So I believe that's nine blocks. Yeah, or around eight blocks. So run here, and then on this block, you want to go one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three on every single block along here. And now that you've done that, you want to go down here, take hoppers, shift and hold it on the chest, and keep placing them just like this. And there we go. Now to test it, we'll throw this trap door in there. And that should travel all the way along into here. And there we go. It traveled. And there we go. So that works. The hoppers are good. So we're actually almost done. I want to grab some more water from your infinite water source. And then place it just on the top of these blocks. So just like this on every single thing. And there we go. And now, just so zombies don't get over. Because when they fall in here, they'll start standing on the water sometimes. So sometimes glitch. Place some slabs down. Doesn't matter what kind of slabs, just place slabs. 
just like that and now so when they fall down here you won't be able to jump over like you can but the zombies cannot and you might as well just cover this up because you don't need this anymore so just cover that up and there we go that's actually pretty much it it's on peaceful so they're not spawning yet but um yeah that's pretty much it for this spawner so in the beginning i said trapdoors were optional i like using them because if you're afk you just put this up and then they won't hit you i don't think they can hit you anyways but um i put those up so uh when you're afk you can place them like this so it'll stop the water but like this they can't hit you but you can use slabs so uh instead of trapdoors you can place slabs here so they'd be in the place of these but um i, I like trapdoors but yeah that's why the trapdoors are optional but i would suggest using those the next thing was glass i don't think i actually have it in my inventory let me grab it real quick so i also placed nine glass it's definitely optional you don't need glass for this you can just have normal stone or any block there but if you want to see them then i guess you can place glass it just like kind of for uh aesthetics i guess but yeah that's definitely optional okay so there's already one spawning right here so you can just stand right here and if you want to go afk you can put these up and then because i don't know if the baby zombies can actually throw a trident at you but uh you know i wouldn't risk it so you can put these up when you're afk just sitting here and uh all these things will spawn so I will cut until they turn into the drowned mobs. Okay, so as you can see, they turn into drowned mobs. And this one actually spawned with a trident. So I would suggest the sword you have is enchanted with looting three and smite five. Smite five is really good. So I'm just going to kill a normal drown. Actually, I guess we'll hit them all. Actually, no, this is the one with the trident. So I'm just going to kill them all right now. Put these down. Kill all these guys. Let's see what I get. So you definitely, you 100% get uh, rotten flesh. But let's see if we get a trident. Ah, oh, we didn't. So before, uh, I tried this before, I did get a trident, but they are pretty rare. And yeah, like I said, the reason you do trap doors in case, just in case, these guys spawn with a trident, put these up so they can't hit you, and then when you come in, you take them out. But yeah, I don't know. I'm going to see if this guy spawns with a trident. Also, sometimes XP, you won't be able to get it. Just lift the trap door, grab it, and it's really that simple. Okay, I didn't even see that until now. We got a trident. I honestly, I just looked in this chest, there was, like, maybe like, 30 rotten flesh, one iron ingot, and now there's a, a full trident in there, so that's actually pretty lucky. And that took me, I've probably been at this for like, maybe a bit over like 20 minutes, or maybe, I don't know, something like that. But yeah, I got a full trident in the chest, okay. So one of these guys did drop, I don't know which one, I killed a bunch of them. But um, yeah, they actually did drop the trident. And actually, I just noticed this right now, it might glitch, because the water physics are kind of weird in this version. So uh, the stuff, the items might float to the top, but I guess you could just jump up here and collect them. But uh, it, it was just like rotten flesh and carrots. But the tridents, I feel like they should go right into the chest. If they don't, you can grab them. But uh, yeah, so we did get one trident. So it did work. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. But that is how you make a trident farm in Minecraft version 1.13. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video or helped you out, leave a like down below. And subscribe to join the Bomb Squad today.